Hello. Wait. What are you doing now? Stalking me? Stalking you now. Come on. Given the fact that I got here first, I would have said you were stalking me. But you see, it's not in my character to point fingers, so I wouldn't put that on you. How are you? Listen, I came here to have a good meal. Peacefully. And you looking around would not make me achieve that. Can't you get it? Calm down. I know how you get whenever you see me. But this is a public place. Can you not create a scene today, please? You are stalking me and you're suffocating me. Am I? Yes, you are. Sorry. Listen, you're becoming unbearable for me. I, I don't know how else to tell you this. What do you want from me? I have money. I have a child. I have a good car. I have a good house. What can you offer me? Something you have never experienced like before. Like what? Love. You know, I've known you for quite some time and uh, you never mentioned your husband. So whatever happened... How dare you talk about my husband? Oof. What gave you the right to talk about my husband? How dare you? Ah. How is that your business? You need to learn to mind your business and stay away from me. Sandra. Yes, ma'am. Sandra, don't tell me you're still awake. Why are you still up at this time? You know you have to be in school tomorrow. But I want to finish this book tonight. Do you not want it by tomorrow? Please, mommy. What book is that? Let me see. And besides, why do you have to borrow? I bought all your books. I'm almost done. Just five more pages to go. Sandra, is this book recommended by the school? No, mommy. But... What have I told you about books not recommended by the school? You said that time wasters makes us lazy and distract us. Good. So now, go to bed, okay? You have to wake up early for school. Um, lay down, quickly. Alright. Mm -hmm. I love you. I'm fine now. Okay, good girl. Go to bed, okay? Mom! Go to bed, my friend. I wish Daddy was here. I know you will listen to me more than you do. <laughs> Who is that? And why does he keep on looking at me that way? Oh, tell me. Sandra! Sandra! Mommy, what mommy, is your mommy, mommy? What's your problem? You're still in your underwear? Sandra, you had your shower over 25 minutes ago and till now you're not dressed for school? Mommy, there's a man staring at me. He's wearing the hoodie, scares me. Sandra, are you trying to make up stories now because you're not dressed for school and you think I'm going to punish you? Just go right upstairs and go and dress up for school. Oh, mom, I'm not making anything up. Do you want to get me angry this morning? Go up and go and dress up. I'm not going to punish you, don't worry. Just, I said go upstairs and go and dress up. Can you imagine that I did that? I ignored her. I didn't even listen. I didn't care. Everything is my fault. Everything is just my fault. It was due to my carelessness. If some other woman had done this to her daughter, I'd probably just beat the woman up. How could someone neglect her child like this? How could I have done this? What was I thinking? You were the one that took her to school on that same day, right? Yes. Yes. Why taking her to school? Did you notice anybody on the side of the road? Was anybody suspicious? No. I didn't even check. I did not check at all. I was just driving. You didn't notice anybody on the road? No. I did not. I, you know how people move around on the road every day now, doing their daily business. I, I, how would I be checking the faces up and down? I, I don't know. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> uh, you need to calm down. You need to calm down so you could think properly. I need every information I can extract from you so I can bring back your daughter Sarah. Okay.
beautiful woman. How you doing? <laughs> Listen, I am not in the mood for this right now. Calm down. Eh? Every time you see me, your mood just switches. What did I do? You calm down. <gasps> Listen, I, I'm, I'm in a hurry. I need to go out. Yeah, I, I, I understand. I'm also in a hurry, but I need to talk to you. Okay? <laughs> I don't have time for this. I'm going to the bank. <sighs> okay. I get it. All right? The other day at the restaurant, I said a few things that were inappropriate. I understand. But sorry now. I'm sorry, please. When you're done with what you're saying, you move out of my way. So that, listen, I'm trying to get us to sort this thing out, okay? Because I see how you've been. Move! You're screaming now. You know how our colleagues can get they show up here and I'll see you and I, in this situation and then they start gossiping. That's not nice. I, just I, calm down. I just wish that the way you're sensitive about gossip is the same way you're sensitive about your self-respect. I respect myself a lot. You just I, you I, haven't I don't, noticed. I don't think so. Seriously, move! Come, stop shouting. Uh -huh. All right, fine, I'll move. If you just let me, just five minutes, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just talk. I don't have five minutes to give you, don't you get it? Listen, Jane, but I, but I love you, okay? I really love you. I, I, I said you should, you want me to scream? I'm going to, okay, you want gossip, right? Okay, okay. Excuse me! Okay. Hey! Are you going to get out there right now? What is it? Excuse me! Sorry now, you're shouting. See, now I'm panicking. Eh? Uh, ah! And I like this girl, Sha. What is it? See how she's treating you, Mike. I'm willing to give you a chance. What, really? What, you stop me here because you want to gossip? It's... Come on, Step. Listen, I understand. It's not about gossip. This is about us, Mike. <laughs> she hits me with another one. Us. You and I. Really? Yes, yes. Look, I understand how you guys like to gossip around here, but you see this is really ridiculous. Don't do it. Stop it. Stop it. Mike. Look, Mike, I have feelings for you. You mustn't get the woman you love. So you improvise and go for the one that loves you. Oh, really? So when the preferable is not available, the available becomes preferable and you happen to be the available. Of course, Mike. <laughs> You're ridiculous. And out of your mind. Stop it. Mike? Stop. Mike. Stop. Come on in. Hey. Well, um, the headquarters called. Yes, uh, they wanted to know why you are yet to respond to the mail they had sent you earlier. Seriously? Yes. Oh my God, I, I forgot. The workload is just too much. I, I totally I... understand the workload. Oh God. But some good Samaritan decided to help out. You did? Oh my God. <laughs> Thank God. As you would guess. Uh, Thank you very much. I really I, appreciate this. I would appreciate too if um, I get some kind of, um, you know, compensation for the work done. What? Mm, if you pay me, I would appreciate it. Wait, I don't understand. You did something for the company as a staff of that company and you want me to pay you. Did I send you? I did your work, darling. Come on now. Uh? Okay. How much do you want? Late lunch. Early dinner, your pick. After work, we just sit out somewhere, you know, and talk. Wait, you want lunch with me? Seriously? Yeah. You have guts, you know. I know. You know, let's just say it will be your way of saying thank you. It's nothing. I mean, come on. <sighs> come on. Hey Sandra. Laura. It's break period. Must you read all the time? If I don't, my mom would allow me read at night after doing my homeworks. Oh, and why is that? She thinks it's a waste of time reading books that aren't recommended by the school. She just wants the best for you. She loves you. Everyone keeps saying that. How come I'm the only one who doesn't see it that way? Because it's nothing but the truth. She loves you. She wants the best for only you. I feel so left out. How would you even feel so? 
because she shouts at me at every given opportunity. She doesn't even believe anything I say. My mom does that too. They just want to show us they love us. You don't understand. I can't read any book aside from school books. I go to bed by 8 o'clock. I watch TV only two hours. I sleep by 8.30. You see, no much difference. I can't watch television if my mom is not close. And when she's back, I can only watch academic shows, no cartoons. My life is just so boring. We have parents, shelter, food, and television. We should be grateful. Mara, come with me. I saw him. He was here. There's no man here. I don't see but any I man. I saw him here. Laura, yeah. I want to tell you something. There is someone. Break up, please. We'll talk after school. Let's go. Okay. I'm fine. Don't pretend I saw you crying just now. What's wrong with you? I don't want you to think I'm being paranoid or something. You might probably not even believe me. No one does these days. Go ahead. What's wrong? I hurt. Not yet. What do you mean by not yet? What are you planning? There's a man following me around. He scares me. But man, I don't see any man. I saw him in my room today through my window he scares me it could have been anybody sandra did you tell your mom of course but she thinks i'm just being paranoid she could be right i've seen him three times today what he has been standing outside the school at the playground when we were talking he didn't show me you remember what i wanted to talk to you about before the bell went off oh yes don't be afraid you're safe don't worry I you know, I could stare at you all day. You're beautiful. Very hmm. beautiful. Listen, I've heard lots of this. Okay? I've heard it lots of times. So you don't have to tell me. Maybe you should try something else. No, if you hear it all the time, then it speaks of the fact that it's true. It, it is true. You're beautiful. <sighs> Listen. If you're going to keep up with this lean discussion, then I must tell you that I get bored easily. Okay. All right, then. Um, so let's try something different, then. So why don't you tell me all about yourself? There is nothing about myself. There's nothing about me. You should know. Everything you need to know, you know already. Are you sure? There isn't anything I, I have to know. Right. Listen, listen, listen. I admire your zeal, Mike, okay? But this cannot work. I'm not your regular kind of girl. Why don't you just change your tactics or do something else? It won't work with tactics. me. Tactics? Oh, I'm... I'm trying to get us to bond here. I'm not being tactical. I'm, I'm myself. Bond? Yeah. With who? You and I. <laughs> Dreams. Boy. Hello? What's your problem now? It's not enough to one week you fix this car and now it has broken down again. This is not funny. I, I, I'm almost stranded here. What do you want me to do? You're still here? Well, is there a problem? Is everything okay? I don't know. I don't know. You okay. can see me here. I don't know. Okay, what, what's the problem? I don't know. Oh, I get it. Your car won't start. 
Ah, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. These things happen, all right? It happens. Cars, generators, you know. <laughs> These things happen. Open the bonnet. Let me check. Let me, let, me, let me see what I can do. I'm quite handy, okay? Just let me check. I'll see what I can do. Okay, um, look, I have been able to just uh, put a few things that are losing, but I still would not advise that you, 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 you move this car from here. Let me just take you, okay? This car might stop hey, you. Please. Ah. Listen, the car. I'm thinking you leave the car here. I mean, this is our office, office complex. You just joined me. I'm not I take, I drop you up. This could stop you somewhere. No, no, no. It's fine. I'm going to drive my no, car. No, but it's Thank not you. fine. If it was fine, I wouldn't have met you here. Keep your advice to yourself. Thank you. Ha! Huh? I do want to go this. Hey, you! Ah, okay, what do we have here? Mm. Why don't you just say it? Say it that you told me so. Just say it. I know you're dying to say it. Well, I told you so. Uh huh. Thank you. See, now this guy has messed you up. So, what's the plan? I what, don't know. What you gonna do? You, you, you have to know. It's not so, your business. What? So, are you dropping me off? Or am I dropping you off? Which what, one? what are you trying to say? Like, I will find my way home. Just go. Let me help you. No. Things rigid. Let me, Jane. Relax. Let me just help you. Right? Let me help you. See the way you're sweating. Let me just help you. I'll drop you off. All right? I can walk. Thank you. You can't possibly walk. Walk? Come on now. You know you're joking. Let, let me help you. All right? Please. Okay? Let me. Can I? I'll get it myself. I can't even get my bed. How does this? Can you make sure my door is locked first? It's locked. you that I want to go to my house. I have a home. That is where I want to go to. Can't you understand Jane, that? Relax now, relax. Eh? We're all human beings. Why are you always stiff? You're too hard. You're too difficult. Eh? I brought you to my place just so you know where I live and you know I'll offer you a drink as well. I mean it's it's a hot afternoon. 
Okay, listen, I know this is not what you want, but 10 minutes. 10. You stay for t just 10 minutes and... 10, just 10. Please, I mean, we're already here. 10 minutes, please. Listen, 10 minutes and I'm out of here. 10 minutes. Deal. <coughs> okay, I'll just leave the way. This way, please. Let me <laughs> All right, here we are. <laughs> please, make yourself comfortable. Please. please, thank you. You know what, I'll just dash off and get you something. You, 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 can, you can sit down, okay? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Difficult see me now acting like some 16 year old boy being all excited. Okay, uh, uh, calm down, Mike. Calm down, get us something nice to drink. Boy, oh, this lady's trying to kill me. You're gonna just mess this up. Uh, stop shaking. One step at a time. One step at a time. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. There you go, if you'll allow me. What am I drinking to? It's a compulsory invitation, I guess. Uh, <laughs> well, you, you didn't have to put it that way. Okay, let's just say that you're drinking to your first um, visit to, to my place. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'll drink to that. But after now, please, leave me alone. You're welcome. Um, listen, I know that you're not one who would um, be upfront with information about yourself. So, you know, I'll just get us started, I'll tell you a couple of things about me, you know, um, past relationships and all, if you don't mind. Um, I don't even think that's necessary. I know the be all around you, flocking around you, and you have a lot of them in line for you. It's, it's yeah. It's... <laughs> Jane, why would you think of me like that? Uh, far from it, far from it. As a matter of fact, I haven't, I have not been in a relationship in, what, five, six years now? Nothing serious, really. I tell you, you know, my, my last relationship was quite an experience, you know. Um, oh. I thought she was the one, so I, I gave her my own, paid, saw her through school, took care of her like a man should, his woman, um, took care of her family as well, you know, because I thought it was my responsibility, you know, I, generally I elevated their lifestyle. You know, made life really good and, and one day she invited me to her place. A place I rented for her, by the way, and um, for some reason she was quite uncomfortable, you know. All jittery and, <laughs> and all, but cut long story short, she, she presented me 
with her wedding invite telling me that she was getting married to another man. Oops. Ah. I, I was devastated, Jane. I couldn't feel my legs. <laughs> I, I, I still cannot recount how I was able to make it home, but you know, after that horrible experience, I told myself that I was done with women and relationships. Hmm. Yeah. Good decision. Very good one. Until I found you. Um, you know what? Ten minutes is up. Our deal is done. You are so beautiful, Jane. So beautiful. Are you going to keep your own side of this deal? Or do you want me to trek home? Because I will. wrong with me? What is, what is going on with me? I can hear you. Yeah, hi. Listen, um, you, you can't see me. I'm out of town. Yeah. I traveled. I, I, I traveled to the east. What do you mean? What did I travel? I tra listen, I traveled last night, okay? I had a. Listen. Is that what? I'll see you when I return. Is that okay? What? If I promise? I'll call you when I return. You go finish this thing, Abby? I go finish, I must you. Hey, you! What's going on here? What uh, are you doing here? I got this guy to, to fix your car. Did I ask you? Besides, how did you get my car keys? Uh, your keys. You forgot, your, you forgot your key in my car when I dropped you off. So I just took the initiative to get here early today and get this guy to, to get it. So why did you not tell me first? Nothing really, I just wanted to surprise you, you what know. What kind of dirty surprise is this? Come on now, be more appreciative. You stole my car keys and you came to, to I could report you to the police. Steal? Steal? If I stole your... Look, I didn't steal, I, I'm here, look. Look, this guy would do a good job, alright, relax. I just want your car running again so that you can 
you know, meet up with the rounds that you have to make for the day. That, that's all. Come on now. Hi, right, Jane, relax. I'm just trying to make you happy. Uh, you don't take my car without telling me. My I'm not car taking your car, I mean, it's still on the same. Okay, you know what? I understand. It's okay, but he's going to do a good job. He's, he's the guy that fixes my car. Uh, he's almost done, by the way. Oh, boy, don't they finish, Abby? You like her? Huh? Tastes really nice. Thank you. <laughs> you know, it's nice when a guy does something different, you know. Depending on the guy, though. Thank you again. You know, my father taught me how to cook. Really? Yep. Your mom must be really proud. Oh, yeah, she was. Always talked about him. Was? Oh, yeah, the, they both died. Oh. My father died at work and my mom, who couldn't deal with the pain at the time, died a couple of weeks after. Oh, God. Sad as it is, um, truth is both of them were buried on the same day. Oh, my. I'm so sorry. It's fine. So even death couldn't do them part. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's fine. It's been years. I'm stronger now. Hmm? Yeah. Okay, now let's not get all gloomy. Yeah. How about you? Um, nothing remarkable. Nothing? Mm -hmm. Okay. This chicken is actually good. Very tasty. <laughs> I can't believe this was made by you. <laughs> oh, someone sent me this newspaper. Newspapers. What kind of sick news is this? A murdered child found beside her home. Why would anyone send me something this creepy? Yes, Isma. Yes, Steph, drop it there. Who, who sends this? My email man brought it for you this morning. Is anything the matter? Are, are you sure it's for me? Yes, Ma. I saw your name written on it, Mrs. Sandra Peters, so I had to sign it and then I kept it for you. Is Why? anything the matter, Ma? I, I, I just find it very creepy and strange that somebody would be sending me this. It, it doesn't make sense. Anyway, we, there's a lot to do, really. This can just... I don't know what this is, but it has to go. Yeah, can I have that? Thank you. So right now, just go back to your table and do all you have to do. We have to finish that other client's file today. We have to submit it by tomorrow morning. Okay, ma. So you have to do everything today. Just go. go. We have a lot to do. Ma, are you go. sure you're fine? I'll be okay. Don't worry. It's, it's creepy, but I'll be fine. Okay, ma. But in case you need anything, ma, don't hesitate to send for me. No problem. Thank you. All right, ma. Please make sure you finish today. We are submitting tomorrow morning. I will, ma. Yes, ma. Okay. Listen, I am walking. This is my place of work. And I cannot rest in my place of work. Besides, I, I, I have to be done in 30 minutes. I have to leave here at 4 p.m. and it's 3.30 already. What do you want me to do? Well, hold on a second. What, you read newspapers? <laughs> Who does that now? I mean, we all have tabs and smartphones and all. Can I have that, please? Thank you. You need to stop going through people's things before you pry into someone's privacy. It's none of your business. Oh. Wow. Well, my business is you. Yeah, I just, I just want to see you smile. I think you're working too hard. You know, can you, you know, just, you know, take some time off work, please. Huh? So you can relax. I don't need some time off work. I am fine. You don't look fine. I'm going to help you out. Can you go and do yours and leave mine for me? No. So let me just confirm I'm with it. Yeah, that's it. Get back to you. Good readers. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Are you free, Mike? Yeah, what? Uh, what? Can I talk to you? <laughs> Are you free? What do you want? I can see you're going about collecting more paperwork than you can handle. You need to have pity on you, Mike. There is no future between you and the boss. Stop. It's just a waste of resources and affection. Do you want this extra work so that you can earn some extra bucks? Or do you want to just sit down there, be lousy and gossip? As long as the work is about you, Mike, I'm willing to do extra. But this girl is delusional. Listen, I have no feeling whatsoever for you. You know when I look at you, you know what I see? A fellow man. What? Standing right in front of me, yes. Stop being ridiculous, stop reducing yourself, stop throwing yourself at me. It is belittling for a woman to throw herself around a man. Especially a man who doesn't want to. Just stop it, alright? Just stop. Mike! Yes, yeah, stop. <gasps> Steph, are you okay? Yes, ma, I'm fine, ma. It's just a little heartache. Oh my, you need to get some medication, you know. I can't afford him, ma. You can't afford what? Don't, don't worry, ma. I'll, I'll, I'll be fine. I'll be fine, ma. Thank you, ma. There you are. <laughs> Hi. Wait, I, I don't know. You seem to be stalking me these days. No, 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 no. It's 1759. You know, I was just walking in to grab a drink and then, booyah, I spotted you. How are you? Seriously, I, I don't want this right now. You, you, you're stalking me and I don't like it. I'm not stalking you. Come on now, relax. Uh, hey, I'm not stalking you, okay? Uh, been wanting to talk to you about something, by the way. So it's a good thing I, I, I spotted you here. About what? Work. You know the pile of work that you give to me to help you out with? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, I, I just would like to know how you get it done. I've heard a couple of people say nice things about your work, and I have witnessed it myself. You, I thought you say you're a genius, sir. So. Just put me through, how do you get these things done? Okay, first of all, I'll say thank you. But um, I'm not ready to chat right now, so I'll go. All right, I don't have the time to talk to you right now. I'll see you some other time. Have a good lunch. Thank you. Or dinner, whatever. Okay. <laughs> so what was on that paper? It had to do with a serial killer that kidnapped and killed three children and then dropped their dead bodies beside their houses. Obviously, he wanted the parents of the kids to find their bodies. You're a long killer. What? It's a book about a very dangerous serial killer who kills children and drops the bodies so the parents could see. It hasn't bothered you that someone sent you such paper, such newspaper. You know, I, I just, I couldn't care much about the newspaper. I just saw it as one of those things. I'm a very busy woman. I, I thought more about working hard and making money. I, just to fend for my child. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I, I, I didn't think about it. <laughs> so you just tossed the newspaper away, like nothing has happened? No, not that I tossed it away like that. I just didn't believe that kind of thing could happen to my child. So your daughter told you someone was stalking her and you never took it serious? <gasps> what, what did you want me to do? Let me ask you a question. If your daughter had complained that somebody was stalking her and then pointed at the direction and then you look towards that direction and you don't see anybody there, would you believe your daughter? Because she was complaining severally. 
I will take it serious and investigate. I just didn't think about it. I I just felt she was talking too much. She was imagining many things which she shouldn't be doing. I, I, I did not understand it. I, all I wanted in life was just to keep her okay, to keep her healthy, you know, to fight for her, give her a good life, healthy, give, give her good it's things okay. of life. I, I, I never thought that anybody would want to kidnap it's my okay. child. I, 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 it's God. okay, you need to relax. God. Think. Let's get back to the newspaper. Was there nothing else you saw in the paper that can help us? It was mostly things that had to do with puzzles and papers, just things that didn't really make any sense. I I don't know. I, I don't know. Okay, this is it. Hello? Hello? Hello, uh, yeah, please, my name is Jane. Who are you? Hello? Hello? Listen, I cannot hear you. If you can hear me, can you kindly leave a message or you can call me back in a few hours. Hopefully the reception will be better. I can barely hear you. Hello? Oh, this person that doesn't want to talk or speak out now. We have to pay somebody again to talk. Oh, okay. Hi. Hello, Jane. Yeah. Hi, I know. It's okay. Alright, I'll have to talk to you later. I just came here to have lunch, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'll call you back. Uh... Hello. Good day, Ma. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, you're welcome. Okay, I... I, I, I you have basmati? Okay, I would like to have um, the same thing I had yesterday with the chicken soup. <laughs> And then it's not me outside. Thank you. Can I get um, a drink before then? Maybe water with lemon in Thank you. Hello. Wait. What are you doing now? Stalking me? Stalking you now. Come on. Given the fact that I got here first, I would have said you were stalking me. But you see, it's not in my character to point fingers, so I wouldn't put that on you. How are you? Listen, I came here to have a good meal. Peacefully, and you looking around would not make me achieve that. Can't you get it? Calm down. I know how you get whenever you see me, but this is a public place. Can you not create a scene today, please? You are stalking me and you're suffocating me. Am I? Yes, you are. Sorry. Listen, you're becoming unbearable for me. I, I don't know how else to tell you this. What do you want from me? I have money, I have a child. I have a good car. I have a good house. What can you offer me? Something you have never experienced like before. Like what? Love. Hmm. You know, I've known you for quite some time and uh, you never mentioned your husband. So whatever happened... Oof. How dare you talk about my husband? Oof. What gave you the right to talk about my husband? How dare you? Ah. How is that <laughs> your business? You need to learn to mind your business and stay away from me. Cool 
Sandra. That's me. Two minutes to get everything for you. I want your attention. What are you thinking about? I, I just asked you about your, your day in school. And you didn't say anything to me. Okay, so tell me about your day in school. And remember, no lies. Only the truth. Okay, mom. But there is no need of telling you anything because you won't believe anything I say. Sandra! Okay, you know what? Talk to me. I'll listen to you. There's a man I've been seeing on hood looking at me. I saw him down the street by the road to my school, even at the playground. And here you treat me like I don't know what I've seen. Sandra, there was no one there. Even on your playground, no one was there. You just keep imagining things. If you're not going to believe me, then don't ask about how my day was. Sandra! I know if daddy was here, he could have looked into it. <laughs> what nonsense! How dare you say that to me? Don't you think about the work I do? Don't you think about my suffering and hard work just to give you a good life? You keep talking about your father. Your father does, your father does not want you. Your father left us when you were still in my womb. He doesn't know what you look like. Mom! Don't want me! Most of the kids that live with both parents don't even have the kind of comfortable life you have. And all you do is compare me to your father. Get, go outside before he hits you. Go and do your homework. Can you imagine? After all my hard work, all my suffering, all you do is compare me to your father. Like I'm not doing enough. Let's go dancing. Mom. Yes, darling. I saw this newspaper in my room. You saw what in your room? Newspaper. Sandra, you started playing tricks again, right? When are you going to quit with all these tricks? Are you done with your homework? Not yet. Not yet. You see, I know what you're trying to get at. You want me to come upstairs and help you do your homework. When you know very well that you've been taught that same thing in school. Go and do it yourself. You can do it and stop, stop telling me stories. When you're done, you come and eat. Don't play tricks with me again. So what was in that newspaper that got you so angry that you had to slap her again? So the same meal that the delivery guy had been sending, the same meal, I was just mad why did this meal have to keep coming i was emotional so i just i just hit her so you feel she has something to do with it i i, I don't know really i i just felt she was trying to get back at me or something you know i was angry and besides this mail did not even have a sender's address or a delivery stamp nothing you know i i just lost it i was, I was it was becoming childish for me it was becoming annoying yeah. The first time you saw the newspaper, was it in the delivery that came to your office? Yes, it was. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I see. That means whoever that's behind this was following you and was also following your daughter. Because that's the only way the newspaper can end up in your room. But no other person has my key. I'm the only one that has the keys to my house. So, after the night, what happened? Hmm. That night was the beginning of my problems. You know, thinking about it now, someone actually entered that house and dropped it. Yes. And that's scary. That is really scary. Gosh. Come in. Who is there? Come in. Oh, Sandra. Sandra, why are you still awake at this time? I couldn't sleep. Why? We need to talk to you. Oh, Sandra, we can talk tomorrow. 
I had a very long day. I'm tired. And you also need to sleep. You have to be in school tomorrow. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry for rationing that. I know you love me to happen again. It's okay. All right? I'm sorry to I slapped you. Do you want to sleep in my bed tonight? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I know. All right, come here. Good night. Okay. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. Do you need anything? Yes, information. Ma, I'm not permitted to do that around here. But for you, I can make an exception. Thank you very much. It's about that guy that just left. I need all you can tell me about him, please. How can someone just mail newspapers in secret to a person? This is like the third time now. This is really becoming annoying. I, I don't get it anymore. Ma, maybe it's someone who wants to send you a message, an important message, ma. Or maybe someone who feels you ignore the most important part of the message, ma. I... What does that even mean? I don't understand you. Ma, the, the news on the newspaper looks similar, ma. Quite different. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm sorry, ma. I didn't mean to pry, ma. The, the papers became too much that I, I had to take a close look at it, ma. Okay, so since you've taken a close look at it, what are they driving at? Or what are you driving at? Because I'm clueless right now. Ma, the first paper has the mother of an eight-year-old child, tall, uh -huh. slim, yes. in primary five, yes. with a dark hair. Uh -huh. And then this... this Wait, this... what? Yes, yes, go, go ahead, go ahead. Ma, and the second paper has um, a mother of an eight-year-old child. A girl, precisely. With same description, she was killed a couple of months ago. Wait, when was the first girl killed? And that was three months ago and the second two months ago, ma'am. Then the third girl, does she have the same description like the other ones? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. She does. But her killers are yet to be found. I don't understand how this... Wait! Oh! Sandra! My daughter! What Jeez! Ma? They may be after my daughter! This killer is after my daughter! Ma, do you have a daughter with same description? My daughter is eight years old! She's in primary five! My shoes! I need to go! I'll get them for you, man! Get them! Get them! Get them! Bring my shoes! Bring my shoes! I need to go now, please! My car keys! My car keys! My daughter! Bring my car keys, please! I, I need to it. go! I found it, man! Sarah saw our scores! Really? And how did she do that? You know, Mrs. Stanley is very secretive about our results. How could she have seen it? I'm not sure, but she said we did well in it. I hope so. I don't want my mom to have it. And also, I put a lot of effort into studying. I'll be right back. I'm not bringing lunch to school. Let me go buy mine. Oh, my mom gave me enough spaghetti. You can share mine. And by the way, it's too big for me, you know. No, I feel like taking jello fries right now. Besides, my mom already told and paid the food seller that I'll be there for food. Oh, that's tough. My mom doesn't want me to use the money for snacks. We have some few minutes before break period. So, I don't want you to come back taking the book. Few minutes then.
people you were talking to? Sandra's mom sent him to come pick Sandra. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. So go to your class. Penny. Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please, where is my daughter? Where is Sandra? I thought you asked someone to pick her up. Yes. I didn't send anybody to my daughter. Well, he came with a pass. With pass. I have my pass. Nobody has my pass. I'm he came with a pass to confirm that. What are you talking about? Where is my daughter for crying out loud? I don't understand. The man just said you asked him to pick her up. That killer has my listen. If anything happens to my daughter, I will hold you and this whole school responsible. Why would you allow someone to pick my daughter for what? Why did you call me to ask me? I'm not supposed to know that you didn't sign it. You should have called me. You should have called me first. We're so sorry, sorry, ma. Sorry for what? You better be sorry. You should have so called sorry, me first. Ma. I hope something so happens sorry. to my daughter. Wait, which way did they go? So sorry. He just left now. God. That was the last time I I heard from my daughter or even saw her. I don't know if she's even alive. But the person who took her hasn't contacted me. No calls, no texts. It's, it's okay. I I I want you to go home and have some rest, okay? You've been here for a very long time. Rest? Wait, did you say rest? Rest where? Rest for who? You don't understand what I'm talking about. That girl is my whole life. She has been all, everything I'm about is my daughter, Sandra. But you get it. What do you want me to go and rest for? Rest with who? I'm not going anywhere. The truth is you're staying here. will not have the thing. You need to go home. Freshen up. I assure you, let me assure you of something. Mm. Whoever took her, this will be the last time he or she will take any other victim. I'm talking about my daughter, I'm talking about any victim. Which victim? My daughter is the victim right now. Let's talk about her. See, I'm not going anywhere. I will stay here. You should go and get my daughter. What are you talking about? Go and bring my daughter for me, please. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going nowhere. That girl is my life. Go up to who? To who? Hey. What are you doing here? Talking to you, of course. Why are you here now? Why are you here? Hey, hey, Mike. Calm down. I was just passing by when I saw your car outside. So I decided to stop by to say hi to you. Okay. Did you, I commit any crime? You've done that. It's fine. Thank you very much. Can, you can leave now, please. Hey, hey, Mike. Calm down. You know when it comes to you... Uh, don't, don't, don't touch me. Oh, Mike. Whenever it comes to you, Michael, I hardly think clearly. And I unashamedly <sighs> accept that. Ha! <laughs> Woman, you're stressing me out. Okay, just leave me be, alright? I came here to have a, a private time. Just a time to myself. To think about someone. Think about things. Think about things that I have to do. Please. Think about what, Mike? Jane? A woman that clearly hates your existence? Look, Mike. If you don't know, she hardly gives men a chance in her life. Mike, come on. Don't do this. Listen, Steph. Jane and I have a situation. I understand that. But you see, love, love keeps no count of of wrongdoings that woman have been independent almost all her life she's getting used to having a man in her life and you know but how is this your business in the first place how i can see you're stupid in love mike yes i agree but i'm not going to be so stupid to fall in love with you i have no feelings for you find yourself a man who would be emotionally attached to you i don't want you mike you're a fool i agree just go. You're a very, very big fool. I agree. But leave. I was just trying to help you. Thank you. 
Ah. Ah oui. I'm good. <laughs> What? Why that look? Babe. I think it's time, you know. We've been married for years now. It's time to try. Time? Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Time for what? Time to bring in our little one. Yes. All the couples that got married around the time we got married, they all have children now. We don't even have one. I told you I'm not ready for this. How difficult is that for you to understand? I mean, why the rush? We still have forever ahead of us. No, there's no rush. It's, it's just the right thing to do. We should be making babies. Why don't you just... If I let you be, you'll never be ready. You have to just... Baby, let's, let's start. Look, I'm not ready for this. Okay? And I don't want to talk about this again. Is there something you're not telling me? Because right now, I, I don't understand you. Why would you not want a baby? You would never know if you're ready until you try. I don't need to try to check if I'm ready. Look, I don't want us to talk about this topic again in this house. And make sure you take your pills. Detective Iweru. Sir. What are you saying? Are you saying she is nowhere to be found? You guys don't know where she is? I just... Alright. Is that what you're saying? Sir, I went to uh, investigate the get men, but they say they didn't even see... The... What exactly is your problem? Are you telling me the two adult get men on duty and the little girl left the premises? Are you saying you as a trained detective, you don't know how to unravel this case? Is that what you're telling me? So, in as much as we would love to hold them responsible, but the, the, the listen to me. If you can handle this case, I'm going to change you. Okay? The parents of this girl do not want story. They want results. Yes, sir. Results. Yes, sir. Understood? Yes, sir. You and your men get to work. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. They don't believe you all what you're saying. Yes, sir. So make it happen. Yes, sir. Else I change you. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Where am I? Mom! Mommy! Mommy! Where am I? I thought you said my mom told you to take me home. This isn't home. You're a smart girl. I can see you're awake. Did you sleep good? Where's my mom? You're in my comfort zone, Sandra. And you don't expect your mom to be here, do you? It's 8.32 p.m. right now. What? I can't be up this late. She'll kill me. Please, I need to go back home. Oh, you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> Your mom is not going to find you here, and she won't even get you again. What do you mean? Does this look familiar? You're the man in the hood staring at me. <laughs> You have no place to run to Cinderella. They get to stay. What do you want? Help! Help! Mommy, please help! Please help! Please help! Let me help! <laughs> We are far, far away from home. So you can scream all you can. Nobody's gonna hear you. But our advice you shut your mouth, else I'll tie them up. Understood? 
Good morning, sir. Is Sorry, I arrived late, sir. Any new developments? Nothing at all. I've been here for a couple of hours. And same thing. Do you have any news? No, sir. But, sir, didn't anyone see the man? Uh, you're supposed to have seen the man along that school road. Someone's supposed to have seen the man because he wouldn't have just appeared and disappeared just like that, like a ghost. I, I think the school authorities need to allow me to speak to that little girl that said she saw him. Yeah, yeah. Because since the gate man said they didn't see anybody, probably I can extract some information from her. Probably somebody saw something. Um, hold on, uh, uh, it's Sandra's mom. This is the fourth time she's calling. Um, hello, madam. It's okay, ma'am. You need to take it easy. We're doing our best, ma'am. I understand how you feel, but I assure you, we'll get your daughter back, okay? Just, just, you don't have to shout, ma'am. Okay, as soon as we get anything, I'll get to you, okay? All right, ma'am. She's distracted like any mom would be. Look, we need to get on top of this case. We need results, okay? Um, get me the white file on top of my table. Sir, you know what we need here is not only an information, but it's going to be a miracle for that girl to still be alive going by the past news. What are you saying? Wait, what are you saying? Be optimistic, my friend. If we, we just started this case and you're already concluding it to yourself. Let's investigate first. Somebody, you know that what we have at hand here is a case of a serial killer who has killed girls with Sandra's description. And I, I wonder why he will still keep her alive. Are you not a going... trained detective? Are you not a trained detective? Cases differ. Okay, let me ask you this. Think. As any of the parents of the previous victim received a newspaper before their child were killed? I made sure I go through their files and there was nothing like that, sir. Um, but the report I saw stated that their children just got missing and after three days, they will be found dead beside their compound. So you agree this has only happened in Sandra's case, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. So now you ask yourself this question. If you want to get to the bottom of this case, why would the kidnapper behave differently in Sandra's case? We are here to find out. Sandra, we can talk to you. Sandra. Sandra, please come back to me. Don't leave me too. Everybody leaves me. Sandra, please. Come back to me. The house is empty. 
I don't talk to anybody. You know you're all I have, Sandra. Please. It was all my fault. I had caught the whole thing. I wasn't thinking. It's okay. It's okay, my dear. Don't cry. You only did what is best for your friend as at the time. Okay? You think so? I know so. See, I assure you, I am going to bring your friend back to school in no time, okay? Okay, sir. Good. Provided you, 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 you give me the information that I want, okay? I will. Okay, good. Let me ask you this. I want you to think, think carefully, okay? And the man that took her, he spoke to you first, right? Yes, he did, but I couldn't see his face. Okay, okay. Uh, so you can't describe him? You can't. You can't, okay. Um, is there anyone else within the school premises that saw you? No. The gate men, they were talking and laughing. I'm sure they didn't see him. Ah, okay, it's okay. You've, you've done well. You've done pretty well, okay? Relax. I assure you, Uncle and I are going to bring your friend back to school soon. Okay? You bring Sandra back, right? Yes, 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 I will. I will. Um, and in case you remember anything, huh? you can tell Mr. Alex. He knows how to reach me, okay? Okay, sir. All right, good, good. Mr. Alex, uh, you go to okay, your class, sir. okay? All right. I want to see my mom. I want to speak to her. Please. Don't you think it's too early for this drama today? I've told you, you can't see anybody except me. What are you going to do to me? Don't you think about what will happen to you if my mom figures out that I was kidnapped? Good question. Now tell me, what do people do to people they take? They don't take people, they kidnap them. Call it whatever you want. Just answer the question. Uncle, I don't know. I don't know. Are you going to kill me? <laughs> I have better plans for you, Sandra. Much better plans. And I have no plans of selling your pants. But I have plans of making money off you. <laughs> you made mention that your mom is very rich, that she has a lot of money in it. <laughs> Let's see how much you can spare to get you back. What are you going to do to me? Sell me? Is it just want to go home? Get up and freshen up. Let me get something to wear. Your food will be ready soon. I'm not hungry. I just want to see my mom. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Uh, madam, we were still investigating, but we spoke with Laura. And for our findings, we found that the kidnapper is a man. A man? Yeah. Which man? Yeah, a man. The truth is, it's a man that um, came to pick her up. But the problem is, the man actually covered his face and uh, he came in secretly. But the truth is, Sandra actually went with him willingly because if he had forced her, the security man would have noticed. Wait, wait, is that all you have? And so, after this, what next? Wait, I don't understand it. A man with no features, yes. A man she knows, yes. After that, what next? You're being so clueless right now. Are you, are you expecting me to dance at what you just told me? Ma, what are you guys talking about? Ma, 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 please. Uh, We've actually sent the picture of your daughter to television stations too. Just that we're still out of luck. But we're sure we're going to get her. My daughter is out there. She may even be dead right now. No, no, and all you can give me is this clueless news. You're as clueless as I am right now. No, come, madam. We are certain that Sandra is still alive. Relax. We're sure she's still alive. How but, certain but, are you? Uh, no, don't worry, madam. I'm sure she's still very much alive. So the strategy of the killer is each time he or she kills a victim, he or she drops them where we can find them. Three victims so far. But for now, it's been days regarding Sandra's issue and nothing of such. So I'm sure she's still alive. What if this killer has become smart? What if this killer now knows that everywhere is being guarded? What about that? That's a job for the police. Trust me, we'll do our best and we we'll promise you 
we are going to do everything possible to bring back your daughter, okay? Relax. Oh. I, I, I... <laughs> see, relax, madam. You need to relax. I take it easy. But there's something I've been willing to ask you. Do you know of anyone that would want to hurt you, hurt your daughter? Is there anyone? It's been a week now. Nothing from them yet. You see, your mom doesn't even care about you. She isn't the idol mom after all. You're lying. She does care about me. <laughs> You're lying. She does care about me. Look at her. After days of not seeing your mom, you still have the mouth to talk. Hmm. <laughs> you are one wild cat, just like your mother. I'm not wild. I don't call my mom names. Ooh, I'm not wild. I don't call my mom names. I've been giving you the same punishments. No food for you for the rest of the day. Please. I didn't even eat yesterday. Hmm. <laughs> so you're going to talk when you eat, huh? Is that what it is? You should remember that next time you say anything about me. Now get up. Get up. Go to your room. You're as stupid as I feared you would be. As stupid as your mom was. As stupid as she made you. Nonsense. Yes, boss. Yes. Yes, yeah, she has eaten. I, I fed her well. Trust me, she's well fed, yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Let me check. All right, boss. I just want to go back to my phone, please. I have told you you can't escape from here. There is no access to any door, and the windows are hidden by the tall walls. Now get inside! <laughs> Hurry up! Needed to be taught a little lesson. Your mom must have been easy on you. You don't know anything about my mother. You are a kidnapper. Are you certain that I am? <laughs> You're nothing but a spoiled brat who knows nothing about life. You don't know anything about us. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> You should apply a little wisdom, Sandra. I know you're eight, but that doesn't permit you to be stupid. If you know what you want, why don't you demand for it? Why are we hiding away from everybody? Okay, please, let me just talk to you. Now, mom. shut it up! And don't even try any foul play. Else you have me to deal with. Is that understood? Is that clear? Good. I think I know somebody that may want to do this. I know, I, I know someone. But 
He didn't have to. We all lived simple lives. He was the one that ruined it. Who exactly are you talking about? The man who got me pregnant. He wasn't happy with the pregnancy. He dumped us like used sanitary towels and just moved on with life. It was so easy for him. You know? So I... I I think he is the one that, 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 that will want to do this to, to Sandra. Um, you have a lovely daughter. I have a wife and three beautiful daughters, so I'm confused as to which one you're referring to. Oh. Three daughters. Wait, um, officer, you didn't come to my workplace and called me out here for a meeting to talk about children? I mean, I think the police, they have something better to do. <clears throat> I mean, your daughter, Sandra, she's missing. Oh, what is this supposed to mean? Who is Sandra? You had an ex-wife, Jane, whom you dumped for another, right? I wouldn't call it dumping. But why, why are we bringing this up now? Uh, like I said before, your daughter Sandra is missing and... And what? Officer Jane and her daughter are not related to me. Okay, so I'm, I'm, why would I be bothered? <laughs> you lied to me. Lied to you? Officer, we are just starting to talk. You lied to me that you had three children. Whereas, after carrying a background check on you, you're married with no kids. Look, enough of this nonsense, okay? I want to go home and I want to go home now. You go nowhere, my friend. You're not a suspect. You can be detained. We need to extract evidence from you to save a life so i ask you where is sandra where is sandra um steph i really want to thank you for letting me stay a while in your place thank you for your kindness i really appreciate it. well it's not in my and um trust me your daughter will be found okay yeah it looks like you've not eaten in a week now, and that's why I brought you here. <sighs> Steph, you know, you're really a nice person. How come I never saw the side of you? Ma, niceness to me is nothing. Well, I, I don't think so. Some people don't even know how to be nice, you know. Steph? Yes, Ma. I think I know who kidnapped my daughter. Her father. Her father? I I thought he was late. How come you never spoke anything about him? I never really spoke about anything that doesn't have to do with work, did I? No. He's alive and he's roaming and wicked. Uh, Steph, um, I just want to give you an advice about men. Men are heartless. They are very heartless people. There is nothing like love forever. It's just a facade men use to deceive women. I need you to know that, please. Ma, I think I will strongly disagree with you on that. You see, it all depends on who you find. <laughs> all men are the same. They are all the same. They act alike. There is nothing like love. They just want to date you and then dump you without even caring how you feel. They are very heartless people. If you want to live a happy and fulfilling life, stay away from men. Men are very heartless. They are wicked and they are big liars. You must know that. Are you in a relationship? Yes, ma, I do. Oh, I see. Anyway, I, I don't mean to bust your bubble, but I just feel like I should tell you the truth. Stay away from men. When they're ready to break your heart, they do it so bad that even the devil will be surprised. Please. It's fine, ma. 
Uh, anyway, it, it, sorry, I I shouldn't be doing this. I don't want to spoil whatever you have. Yeah. And truly, I must confess, for the first time in a long time, I'm I'm hungry. Oh, thank God. Trust me, that's why I brought you here. Let me let me get something for you to eat. Yeah. Um, waiter. I knew it. From the very first day my daughter was kidnapped, I knew he was the one behind it, and he is still the one behind it. He's an ingrate. But do you have any proof? What other proof do I need? He just lied before the main questioning. He's a liar. A born liar. That's all he knows how to do. Lie. Uh, well, we need proof for us to continue to keep it in there. I do have an evidence against him. Um, so what were you saying? So I feel that it's going to be harder than I anticipated, so. I don't know why you're saying this is a difficult case. We could handle this. Well, so I deeply agree with you, but why would someone lie about having a child? It, it might just be inferiority complex. People tell all lies for various reasons. Mm. Well, my instinct tells me that that guy is hiding something from us. Does Sandra even know her father? Uh, but the truth is, um, we can only suspect, but we need to investigate to come to a logical conclusion. Now listen, the truth is, Jane sounds so sure that Sandra does not know her ex-husband. Yeah. So th that's the situation. But if you look at the issue, that's why I've told you to be vigilant and be coercive in your investigation. Okay, sir. Well, good thing we see our Victor in custody. I've come to think of it. Why would someone kidnap his own daughter? Obi, where are you? Obi, please come and save me. I'm sorry. He's a big liar. So that was what he told you about me. He told you that I was a heavy drunk. For real? Is that what he's saying? He's a madman. I don't come in between your problems, your personal issues. But if that is what it's going to take to bring your daughter back, I'm game. He is a liar. He's a very big liar. He should have told you what happened. He should have told you the truth. I agree with you. Let's say he hasn't told me the truth. You that have the truth. You tell me what I want to hear. It all started when he got this promotion at work.
Victor, what are you doing? Hi, honey. <sighs> hmm. You stink. You see, this is what I was trying to avoid. That's why I was tiptoeing. I'm not ready for your nagging. Really? Victor, since you got this new job, you've changed so much. Where is the man I fell in love with? The man you fell in love with is stressed up at work. I just went to loosen up a little. Hmm. Other men would loosen up with their wives naked in their bedroom. Naked in a room. And how do you know what other men do exactly? Wait. Are you being naughty behind me? Oh, please. Don't be ridiculous. What are you talking about? Victor, I, I, just, I just miss you. I miss my husband. Look. I'm tired. Okay. I'm stressed up and I have a lot to do at work tomorrow, okay? And you know with higher position comes higher responsibilities, please, okay? Victor, Victor! Let me be wife. What? Wife? <laughs> wait, wait. No more honey or baby. Or even sweetheart. Wife? What's all this? What's all this nonsense? Give me this. Hmm, come here. What are you doing? I want you. I want my husband. I miss you. I just told you I'm tired. I'm really tired. I don't have time for sex right now. I want to go upstairs, have a shower and sleep. Come on. Baby, we should be doing this all the time. You haven't even touched me in weeks. We are supposed to be having babies right now, you know. We don't even have one. I told you I'm not ready for children. I'm tired. I need to go upstairs and have my shower. You know that feeling when your wife is uncontrollable and all she does is nag? Then what happened next? She got pregnant. After all my warning, that idiot still took in. And what did you do? I did what I had to do. That was how I formed this habit. Just a way to console myself. You know, and keep my sanity in check. But drinking was not one of them. No. I only drank once in a while to relieve myself. Which I never did until Sandra went missing. Just look at yourself. I left you for work this morning. You were already up and drinking. Last night, you were drinking. Two days ago, in fact, for days now, you've turned into a complete drunk. I need you. I, I need my husband back. These days, all you do is just you just ignore me. You don't even care if I exist. It's not fair. I know your ears are clearly for fancy. But I'll make this as clear as possible. I don't share what or who I love. And I love you, Jane. But clearly, you love something else. 
big tour. You see that thing in your tummy? As long as it's still there, nothing can work between us in this house. Victor, so, this child is yours. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I don't. In fact, I have to be honest with you. I'm done with this relationship. What? Victor, what do you mean? I bought it. I bought the baby. And we can have another one when we are finally ready. You must be out of your mind. You are out of your mind to say that to me. Then the fault is no longer mine. I'll leave this house for you and your baby. Or well, see, be it two, three, eight years, twenty years from now, I don't need that child coming around me. Because if it does, I will skin it alive. Victor, have you gone crazy? This baby is yours. Don't do this. No, no, Victor, Victor. Ah! Victor, Victor, I'm talking. You cannot do this. Victor. Oh. That was how he left. But he never came back. I, I mean, I, I thought he was angry. I thought that when I got back from work, I would find him in the room with flowers apologizing to me. Only for me to notice that he had packed everything of his and left the house. His clothes, his shoes, our wedding pictures, everything that ever showed that he was married to me. He took everything. So, what happened next? He left. And he never came back. So I... I, I decided to listen to him. To listen to his warning and keep my daughter away from him. Um, so you mean because he once threatened that he was gonna kill her if he set his eyes on her? You still think he's still gonna do that? I, I, listen, I know this sounds crazy, I know, but I know what I'm saying. He has a hand in this. Victor never means his words, never. He means everything he says. Okay. Oh, relax, okay? Let's hope, since we have you in our custody, he can help us find out. Please, can I ask you for a favor? Oh, go ahead. Hey. Listen, I understand. Sorry. I, I know that feeling. I, I know, I know, I know. But oh, please, get yourself together. I mean, if I wear your shoes, I'll be devastated as well. I understand. But we're going to find out. Okay, please. <laughs> Steph and I are here to help out. Okay? Stop crying. Thank you. I know I'm not really mean it. Oh, Jane, come on. This is not the time. Okay? It's not the time I understand how you feel. I know what you're going through. As for your daughter, I assure you, we're going to find her. Okay? We involve the police. We sent out search parties. Everyone is, is, is working very hard you know, to find her. Sorry. And I know you haven't eaten all day. Can I, can I at least get you something? I don't want anything. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry. Thank you. We'll find her, okay? I assure you. We'll, we'll find her. Well, don't don't panic. I, I, I know how you feel, but we'll find Sandra. Alright? Thank you. It's okay.
Finally, the Doons found her child. Steph, what did I ever do to you? What could I have done to you and Mike to deserve this from you? I've asked myself this question a million times, but I cannot even get an answer. What have you ever done wrong? You are the perfect Jenny Peters. And that is what annoys me the most. You're so bossy. Bossy? Me? But Steph, you know I could have done anything for you. Steph, you have to tell me what I did wrong to you to deserve this. What did I do to you? What? You're the big Mrs. Perfect, Jane. You have everything I dream of. Although you're not married, you live an independent life. You're beautiful. You have a very big office. You have a beautiful daughter. You have everything, I mean, everything I want, Jane. I could have let it go. <laughs> Until you crossed the line. I crossed the line. What line? The line of you also wanting the one man that I ever loved. Hey, Mike. Yeah. What? You look more handsome today. Say, as stop if you. As if what? As if you were did by the day. Can you stop flirting with me and just get to work? Can you do that? Mike, why are you being this way? I've told you countless times how much I love you. And I've told you countless times, stop flirting with me. It is ridiculous. It is disgusting. All right, I don't have you in my head. I have space with someone else in this head. Not you. Stop it now. Stop it. Just stop it. Stop. Just stop. Mike, why are you being like this? Stop it. How are you being? I've told you how much I love you. <laughs> why are you always treating me like this? I like you. As a matter of fact, I am in love with you. I, I, I've told you countless times, but you constantly giving me attitude. Every time I come here, you just ward me off. Come on now. Please, give me a chance. The only things I love are my daughter and my job. And you, Mike, are not one of these. So why don't you just leave me alone? Listen, just give me a chance. All right? Even if it's half a chance. If, if, I, if I screw it up, then you can, you can walk. But for now, allow me to show you how much I can love you. Please, let me love you. Let me take care of you. Let me take care of your child. Jane, I'm crazy about you. Please. I wanted you, Jane. I, I wanted you so much. I loved you. But for every time that I showed care and love, what I got in return was spite and embarrassment. For all the care and all the love that I showed you, you spat on my face. I just got tired. And for me, it was simple arithmetic. I wanted you, you didn't want me. <laughs> Steph wanted me, but I, I was disgusted by her attitude. But the catch was the fact that she really hated you. And I had to, I had to team up with her. <laughs> I guess a light bulb just came up in my head and I'm like, okay. If she hated you that much, then she would make a fantastic partner. And then both of us teamed up to come up with a plan that will destroy you slowly. I was willing to go any length to destroy you. I saw it as an opportunity for us to bond back together. Why do you keep doing this? Why do you treat me so badly, Mike? What does Jane have that I don't? Self-respect. Are you out of your mind? See, fine, fine. I'm sorry. It's just that when someone is in love, the person lays down everything, including self-respect. Listen to me. You see, in life, yeah, there are certain things that are meant not to happen. All right? And one of those things is you and I, you and I are not meant to happen. Get used to it. 
Come on, Mike. You're putting a lot into this lady, and yet she keeps treating you like trash. Don't you get it? What I don't get is your language. I don't like the way you talk to me. Stop it. Oh, really? Look, Mike, let me tell you. I can kill anyone just to get what rightfully belongs to me. <laughs> and, and, and I mean it. Sir, so you're retarded. So that... I can kill anyone. Why is this man being so difficult? Why? Just tired. Uh... You mentioned something about killing when I was walking out. Oh, 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 Mike. You heard me right. Yes, I did. I can kill anyone just to have you, Mike. And I mean it. You can kill anyone. Including Jane. Of course I will kill anyone, Mike. Hi, darling. You're here. I'm sorry, Mike. I got stopped up in traffic. What do you have? A lot, Mike. I had to take a very good look at Sandra from a distance, just you had suggested. I was wondering, how can just one person have all of those good things in just one lifetime. How about the girls? I saw the three of them. They were as hyperactive as the other girl. I took a picture of them. I sent them to your phone already. We can take them one each month. One each month until we reach our objective. Exactly. I sent you the picture of three of them to your phone and one of Sandra. I want you to take a very good and a close look at Sandra every time so you don't forget your food. What did I not do for that girl? I showed her love, showed her care, brought her into my home, did her work for her at the office just so that she can see that I love her. Her car breaks down. I call my mechanic to get it fixed. She's stressed off. I take the stress off her. I treat her like a man should treat a woman that he really loves. And I do all of that and then she dares to treat me like this and everyone expects that I will become. Hell no. I can't be that calm. Don't mind that fool. She doesn't believe what is going on. She keeps believing the mailman's jargons. I need you to keep doing what you're doing. We're on track. Okay, Mike. Mike, please take me to my mom. Your mom is stubborn. Now that's not nice. Are you scared? <laughs> I mean, look at this, look at... Look at you, look at me. Do you like how that uncle is treating you? No. But it's because of your mom. I brought you here because I... Because I wanted her attention. I, I, I just... I just, I just want to get close to her. Can, can you see? Uncle wants to get close to your mother. I just, I just want to get really close to your mom. So I thought that if I, if I kept you here with me, who knows? Just maybe, just maybe, your heartbeat would 
and make her know that you're somewhere close and, 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 and she would come here and probably hear me out. I don't want to hurt you. do this. We've gone through a lot. Yeah. Let's have fun. If I stop talking to me like that, all right, okay, stop touching me. I don't like it. Right. And second and most importantly, what you and I have is a work relationship and nothing more. Stop expecting more. It will not happen. Your excess love for Jane has turned into excess hatred for me. And it's stopping you from seeing true love where it lies. Uh -huh. Where was the love? Yeah. <laughs> uh, wake up. Do you hear me? There's nothing like love. Love is a sheer waste of time and emotions. It doesn't exist. You're wasting your time with me because it would never happen. How very simple and fun it was to watch how stupid you are. I took you into my home so that your sorrow could fuel my joy. I thought that when we are done, I could at least achieve something. Not a nice house though, or a car, but at least the one man I love. Gosh, but I never even loved Mike. You were just driving yourself to depression. You know, you just like making a fool of me, Sandra. You literally refuse to be my friend. You know, getting into your apartment to trans those newspapers was a piece of cake. You see, one of those days that you were quite in a hurry, rushing off to a meeting that you had, you forgot your sets of keys and we picked it up or made a copy and got right straight into your home. Easy. Oh, that was how you were able to kidnap Sandra because she knows you. She thinks you're my good friend. I could have been your friend, right? <laughs> but no, you won't allow it. What is this wall that you have built around your heart? What is it? What did I ever do to you? Well, and to think that I just showed up in front of your door and the girl was full of smiles, excited to see me. I asked her to come with me and she just followed. Oh, oh. you both are evil. You both deserve to rot in hell. I hate everything about you. You have every goodies of life. And you act rashly. I wish you were a day late. I would have skinned her limb to limb. And squeezed her body and sent to you as a parcel. Oh, How hey, dare you! Hey, hey, hey! Stop it! Stop it! You have no right to touch her, okay? This is not your sitting room. Anyways, I am happy you both have provided enough evidence against yourselves. Now you're going to be put away where you will stay and meditate on the evil things you've done, the inhuman things you've done to me. You will be there for a very long time. It's okay. Um, it's a good thing that you guys confess to this crime. Um, you have to put that, that all this down in the statement, okay? I'm sorry about everything. Everything is my fault. You know, I've listened to you all of this when I've happened. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Officers, thank you. I I don't even know how to start saying thank you. I I wish there could be more words to say than thank you. I, I really appreciate it. It's okay. it's okay, madam. We're only doing our job. Thank you. Thank you. 
What? What? Pretty girl, what's your name? I'm Sandra. And who are you? I'm a I'm friend. Young. A friend. An old friend. In fact, a former friend, sweetheart. Can I visit you sometime, Sandra? No, you cannot visit us. We don't want any more outsiders in our lives. We've had enough. We are good the way we are. So please stay away. I advise you, you take it easy, okay? Yeah, my house. For more, who is he? I'm your father. Um, please. This is not the time for this. 